Hi, my name is Chelsea and this is Painted Layers, where we create sustainable DIY fashion. Wouldn't it be great if you could take an old t-shirt and turn it into a pair of underwear? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. So this is the t-shirt that I'm going to use. I'm also going to use fold over elastic, which you can get at Joanne Fabrics or find it online. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link that I listed below and download this pattern. And once you have the pattern, you want to cut out the pieces. I cut the shirt along the seams to make two separate pieces of fabric for the back piece and the front piece. I folded the fabric in half and use the pattern to cut out the pattern shape on the fold. You should have three pieces cut out. And what you're gonna do is make a sandwich. You're gonna have the front piece right side up, and then on top of that, put the back piece right side down, and then on front of that, put the lining right side down. I'm using both a serger and a sewing machine for this project. I like to use a serger when I'm sewing with knits because it gives a professional look along the seams. I'm also using wonder clips instead of pins just as a personal preference. As you can see, I serged the lining edge that isn't being clipped together. So after using the serger to serge the three pieces together, you want to put them on the right side and take the lining piece and pin it down flat where it would sit in the underwear so that you can do the next step. So the next step is to take fold over elastic and we're going to add it to both sides of the leg area on the undergarments. So I'm going to use a zigzag stitch and you want to pull the elastic slightly as you're sewing. I love fold over elastic for this because it makes the edges clean and it's easy to use. I'm not folding the elastic, I'm just keeping it straight. And if you did it correctly, this is what it should look like. You also might want to trim along that edge of the fabric where you sewed the fold over elastic just to make it look cleaner. Now the next thing I'm doing is lining up the fabric where the fold over elastic was attached. And I'm going to go from the bottom all the way up to the top with my serger to do the sides. The last step is to use the fold over elastic to make a band around the top. And for this, you don't want to sew as tightly as the leg bands. You want to leave it looser. And when you get to the edge of the elastic at the end, you just want to fold over both ends and zigzag stitch over so it looks clean. And here is the final result. Okay, so our first video, our first project was a success. So this is how it turned out. I love the way these turned out. The color is really pretty. I love the contrast with the white lace. Looks very old fashioned y almost and very cute. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.